Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. I've gone ahead and taken us back over to the Silver Cave area. We're just east of the Pokemon Center through these trees at the border of the regions, I believe. There's this house that we saw in the other episode that we never went in, so let's check it out. Oh dear, you found me! Please don't tell anyone about me. I'll give you this for keeping my secret, please. All right, Team 47, I believe that's Steel Wing. Which, uh, you know, it's nice to have. We already have a Steel Wing Pokemon, but you know, it's nice to have nonetheless. I really expected there to be a secret item here. Ah, there, there, there it is. They got smarter in Gen 2 and put them on the side trees instead of the other ones. Well, anyway, so we've got a couple missions today. The big one being that we're going to go after Lugia. But first, we need to go to Pewter City, actually, and uh, figure that out. Um, Where am I going in Pewter? I don't actually know where this guy is. I just realized we're here to talk to a guy, but where is he? Um, Is there anyone around? I always thought he was up here somewhere, in my mind, but it's been many years since I've actually played, so I don't actually know. It's a mystery. We do have some free berries, though. Mint berry, huh? I'm just stalling for time. I'll look for where this guy is real quick. Um, Let's see, Pewter City, where is it on this guide? I was not prepared for having trouble finding this guy. All right. To the right of the Pokemart, apparently. So we were in the right side of town. Ah, uh, it's gonna be this guy, I'm guessing. Talk to me. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto? That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. Ta-da. Silverwing obtained. Alright. Now, I'm gonna buy some stuff real quick, and also skip forward to daytime. Okay, well, I was gonna buy stuff, but then Arnie called, and it looks like we have a Yanma Swarm. So, oh gosh! What was that? We can only buy Great Balls here, huh? You know, I'll buy five, I guess. We'll use them for the Yanmas. Alright, well, I don't know what that weird glitch was, but let's get out of here. It is morning now, at least. Uh, let's see, we're flying, and we will just fly... We'll take the train, because it takes us where we're going anyway. It actually takes us closer than flying would. Yeah, we'll finally catch a Yanma, at least been waiting for him to call us. The entire reason I have his number. He's annoying. We'll get rid of his number after this. Because I feel like every number we add just reduces the chances of us getting another Thunderstone or a Leaf Stone, and I need to add the people that give the other stones, too. Because obviously, if I want to finish the Pokedex, we're going to need all the stones. And multiples of them, even. So it's going to be quite a journey to do that. All right, here we are. Good old Goldenrod. It's a complete detour from what I was planning today, but it works. It better actually appear, because last time he called me about a Yanma and it never appeared. I think he has a message where he just says he saw like one Yanma. But this was specifically a bunch of Yanma. And yes, there's Yanma. About time. I didn't even send out the right Pokemon, but whatever. We'll just lovely kiss it. Probably pretty good odds of catching it at full health, honestly. We'll just toss a Great Ball. Oh, come on. And he woke up immediately. What a jerk. Oh, wait, no, we want to put him back to sleep. It didn't affect. Stupid Yanma. These Yanmas have been taunting me for a very long time. 
It's just really bizarre that they made the swarm Pokemon, like, so interesting and yet so terrible to actually use. Like, are there any swarm Pokemon that are really that amazing? There we go, Yanma finally obtained. It can see in all directions without moving its big eyes, helping it spot attackers and food right away. All right, well, that's enough of a diversion from our mission for today, which ends with Lugia, but it does not begin there. Anyway, let's go ahead and delete his number real quick. Arnie, you are out. I do not want to hear from you ever again. All right, anyway, now we actually have to go back. So we will grab, uh, nope, grab Armadil, fly, now, an easy way to get back, if you don't feel like taking the train, is to just go over. You just have to cross the line. Sadly, we do have to cut these if we don't want to risk getting in a battle. Just cross the line right there, and we should be good to go. Alright, so I believe... On Wednesdays, which today should be a Wednesday in the Poke Gear. Yes, Wednesday. I believe somewhere you're supposed to be able to rematch your rival. All I see is this guy, though. What's this guy even say? At the Pokemon League, you'll get tested by the Elite Four. You have to beat them all. If you lose, you have to start all over. I could be wrong about the Wednesday thing. It could be a different day. But I thought it was. I'll check real quick. All right, I've confirmed it. We just did not go far enough. There he is. Hold it. You're going to take the Pokemon League challenge now? That's not going to happen. My super well-trained Pokemon are going to pound you. Kebab, I challenge you. So yeah, on Mondays and Wednesdays, you can get this final rival fight. Lobo wants to battle. Oh, we got Battle of the Frozen. Alright. Will Psychic work? No, it won't. Why did I do that? I know he's not gonna work. I just, like, automatically grabbed it because I didn't want to use Ice Punch, but we'll use Ice Punch. You know, it's not gonna do much. Eh, did more than I thought. Okay, yeah, I actually kind of want him to faint Frozen, honestly. But, you know what? It's fine. We really want to get some XP onto Bayonetta, probably. But Bayonetta versus Sneasel is not a good matchup, that's for sure. And I would like to get Firebird progress towards level 60 so we could finally get Flamethrower. Not that it really matters. That's going to be the post-post game that we ever get that high of a level. Who's next? Fraligator, very nice. Uh, I'll let Bayonetta try to take on Fraligator just because I really wanted to get some XP. High level Fraligator, but it shouldn't have anything that's super effective, and we're an inch away from a level, so it's probably fine, maybe. Well, if he's gonna waste a turn, then yeah, it's probably fine. Especially if we could get a crit, that'd be really good, and we did. Hooray for enhanced crit trance. Uh, hmm. That would be bad if you weren't dead. But I think you're dead. Another crit, even. Bayonetta's on a roll, level 50. Alright, that's good stuff. Crobat. We'll just hold Bayonetta out until we get something that can take it on. Or wins, either one. But we need those levels bad. We need Bayonetta and Frozen to be able to take hits. But especially Bayonetta. Painful, but not enough. Unless it's a crit, but it was not. Alright. 
Magneton, well that's finally something that forces me to switch. But that's good, it'll be XP for Firebird. This Magneton stands no chance, only level 45. It is nice that he finally had a Crobat, though. It's hilarious that they made him hold on to Golbat until this final battle that you could theoretically never even realize is in the game if you never were here on the right days. Ingar, eh? We'll let Frozen take this one on. Frozen's still a couple levels behind where she should be. Gotta get that XP. I hoped it would, but it did not. I haven't seen much of Shadow Ball in this entire series, really. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, I had hoped, but it did not happen. Anyway, we'll let Firebird go for it. Can't use Bayonetta against a Gengar, that's for sure. That would not be the proper <laughs> choice. Not even remotely. And who's last? Alakazam, huh? You know, we'll hold. Shouldn't be as bad as that Espeon was, that's for sure. It actually amazes me that we beat Red first try. That's like the third or fourth in a string of level of not levels, of battles where I felt like I was completely outmatched and deserved to lose. You know, it started with the eighth gem. And I think it happened with Lance, too, didn't it? It's just like, what am I doing? How am I winning these battles? Nobody knows, really. This battle was less of a surprise. Still happy to win, I guess. It's free money, and we need the money. Okay, I lost. Darn, I still can't win. I, I have to think more about my Pokémon. <laughs> Try not to lose. Apparently, if you re-beat the Elite Four, you can challenge Red again, which is interesting. Anyway, though, one of the other reasons we came here, besides experiencing that battle, is to stock up on Ultra Balls. Because we are not going to lose the stupid Lugia. Alright. Now, I'm gonna make my way back to Johto real quick, and then we will find Lugia. Alright, here we are back in Cianwood City, uh, home of the Great Mantine Incident, which has never been rectified. So we need to head into the Northeast Island, and uh, we're gonna have to battle this random trainer, I guess. At night, Star you gather near the water's surface. Interesting, I suppose. You don't worry me very much, Windy. Oh, a horsey. Now, the good news is there is a couple Pokemon to catch inside of that dungeon besides just Lugia, so that'll be good. Alright. Another horsey, huh? I'm hoping we don't have too bad of luck with Lugia. In terms of capture chance, it's worse than Intai and Raikou. Intai. Um, so, it's concerning, but we do have plenty of Ultra Balls, and we don't have to worry about it running away, so there's that. Who we got here? Man, if a Mantine shows up, I'm going to go into PTSD for sure. Then we'll have to catch it, which I do not want for this episode. I just don't. It's bad enough having to deal with all these wild Pokemon appearing. But we gotta do it. We still don't have a shiny. I really wanted to get a shiny in this game. Just one. Gyarados doesn't count. Oh my gosh. Although, if I got a shiny Tentacool, I'd honestly be really sad. <laughs> Tentacool has gotta be the most generic Pokemon alongside Zubat. And 
kind of geodude at this point, really. Those three are overused to the max. All right, so here is the Northeast Island. Let me see where the entrance is so we don't have to run in circles. All right, it's to the east. So yeah, apparently this is the only one you can enter that will actually let you get to Lugia. The other ones is just like items. All right, now we just want to land here and walk around. Oh, great. <laughs> Why would they do this? Oh. Um. I wasn't expecting that. Dang it. I'll be right back, I guess. Yeah. Alright. Well, this is happening. This is gonna be a long episode. Alright. First things first. Bayonetta. Good news is we're a lot better set up for this this time. But yeah, this is the second time this guide has failed me, where it just doesn't mention that you need flash for something nowhere on the page. Does it say anything about it being dark? And I didn't remember that. I guess back in the day, I just always had flash on me. So annoying, though. Yeah, this guide's not great. The main reason I use it is because it's actually kind of hard to find guides for Crystal. A lot of them don't specify all the differences between the games. Oh my gosh. No wonder I hate Mantine. This is ridiculous. Alright, there we go. Now we need to bring the sleep back, and now we're gonna have to heal after this too. I hate Mantine so much. Now, I'm glad that we're not going to have to go back to it, I guess. Alright, lovely kiss. And now, the moment of truth. Please just catch instantly. This is the best possible setup without involving apricorns. Not even close. Mantines are jerks. Why are they so hard to catch? It's genuinely, it's just nonsense. Oh, thank you. Oh, it made up for that last time. It swims along freely, eating things that swim into its mouth. Its whole body is very coarse. Alright. Anyway, I'll uh, be right back again. <laughs> All right, and that completely unnecessary trip is now over. Choo Choo's back on the team. Hooray, it replaced uh, Golem, because why not? We don't really need Golem. If we end up needing Golem, I would be very mad. But hey, look at that. There's one of the two Pokemon that we can catch here that we need. Hopefully this won't be very difficult. Luckily, the level difference is such that we don't really have to worry too much. We'll even try Great Ball, just because. I kind of want to save the Ultra Balls in case Lugia is a jerk. It could always happen, you never know. Alright. The light blue fur that covers it keeps it protected against the cold. It loves iceberg-filled oceans. Too bad those don't exist in Pokemon, you never see them. In the games, at least. Um, I don't know which way we want to go. I wonder if it even matters. I can look at a map, I guess. Um, let me see here. Give me a map, please. Alright, 
So there's this basement area that we're in. We gotta figure out where in here that we are. We're not at the basement area yet, are we? I think we're not. Okay, I see. They both reach that way, but this way gives you the item. Hey, look at that! That might have been the wrong choice, I don't know. Anyway, now we're down here in the basement area. I gotta figure out where we're at before we continue. Alright, I know where we're at. Now I gotta figure out where we're going from here. Because I don't actually know. The other problem with this guide is it doesn't actually say where any of the ladders lead. Which is usually a pretty normal guide thing, so it's kind of weird. And the weirdest thing is, like, as far as I can tell, a lot of the text in this guide is stolen from the physical guide that I have. So why they didn't steal the image parts, I don't know. Anyway, we will just, uh, wander around. Until we find our way? We might have already gone the wrong way, honestly. But if we find a bunch of items, that's still a win, right? We need to get to a waterfall, is the thing. I don't actually know how to get there. Okay, yeah, it was the other ladder that goes there fast. So yeah, we were tempted by the item. Yeah, the guide says it's the fastest way, but I think it's also the only way. Hey, full restore, though. Pretty good. Alright, well, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I wonder which one we're in now. I will skip ahead to where I found the correct one again. Alright, we're finally back here and making the correct choice this time. Now let's go ahead and head on down here. Oh look, a Krabby. Oh, we already got a Krabby. We do not need you, sir. Goodbye. Alright, now we're talking. Hey, a Max Revive. Wow, they're really giving us the items here. Alright, so let's surf, I guess. Hey, look at that, another new Pokemon. It's Horsey. We've seen it many times in the past, but it's finally time to catch one. Also, I did do a little bit of training of Bayonetta while I was wandering back. So now we are almost at a level, which will be good. Alright, what am I doing? We can capture you without putting you to sleep, right? Probably. Horses can't possibly be hard to catch, right? Yeah. When they're in a safe location, they can be seen playfully tangling their tails together. How nice. Where is Lugia? Ah, probably in this cave. Yep, there's good old Lugia. Alright, it's been quite a journey to get here. This episode's gone all over the place. But finally, the entire point. And I've sent out the wrong Pokemon first. But whatever, it's fine. We're just gonna switch real quick, that's all. We're actually going to send in Choo Choo as the sacrifice, because we don't want to take damage on the switch on someone who actually matters. And Choo Choo does have Growl, right? I don't know if Lugia has anything that's physical. Oh, it has Flash, obviously. Okay, well, 
We'll see if Choo Choo survives that. Lugia is pretty high level. I've always loved Lugia. It really sucks that you can't get Aeroblast in Crystal. Flash failed? Well, he wasted his turn on Recover, at least. Alright. Accuracy down. Gust. Your fourth move is Gust. Alright, well, that's a thing. Yes, use next Pokemon. So next Pokemon is Firebird to finish the job. Hopefully faster. Good. With two accuracies down, we might be able to survive. Okay, he's gonna do that again. That's fine. We won't survive a Hydro Pump, probably. But we've already accomplished our main goal. Wow, he's really not smart, is he? But yeah, Aeroblast is like my favorite Gen 2 move, probably. I just always liked using it. Such a great move. Oh, come on, really? Well, it's been nice knowing you. Did that not make, like, the super effective sound effect? Oh, well. Anyway, it's Bayonetta's turn now. It's probably fine. Realistically, the sleep is going to be more important than anything. Oh, my. Right, well, looks like damage is not an option. Um, we're gonna swap in Armadillo then. We're gonna get that last sand attack in. I got a lot of accuracy lowering moves on this team, I guess. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Damage is not really an option. So, I guess it's Frozen's turn, and we just hope we don't get Hydro Pumped into Oblivion. Yes, huh? Alright, well, lovely kiss. Alright. Let the odds begin. They're not great. Yeah, it's like a 4% chance or something. Really, woke up first turn. Get back to sleep, jerk. Oh, great. At least he only has like a 25% chance of even trying a Hydro Bomb. And then who knows what percent chance to hit. I don't remember the accuracy stages very well. It sucks trying to catch him full health, but with Recover, what can we do, really? Almost wish we could get some sort of status thing on him, but we need him to sleep, so we can't. I suppose something like Leech Seed could be used. Come on. At least with the sleep, he doesn't get very many chances. Well, this sucks. It's like not even close. I don't remember what game it was, but there was one game where I literally just threw Ultra Balls at like a full health legendary until I caught it. Without even putting it to sleep, I think. It might have been paralyzed or something, though, I don't remember. I don't really recommend it. It's gonna suck if we run out of sleeps. That is something I didn't really account for. I suppose if that happened, we'd have to start injuring Lugia to try to get any kind of percentage chance of catching him. We'll hope for long sleeps, because if we get a bunch of one-turn sleeps, they'll go away really fast. Ooh? No! It was almost over. The torture was almost complete. 
Why do you have to be so difficult, Lugia? Why do you have to have both recover and ridiculous defense? Now, statistically speaking, we have plenty of Ultra Balls for this. But that doesn't really mean much in the face of bad luck. Okay, he woke up again, wasted another turn on Rain Dance, that's fine. Please go back to sleep. Dang it. Can't have that. Alright, back at it. We're down to 40 Ultra Balls left. We're in this for the long haul. I wish there was like a super expensive ball that had a higher catch chance, because I'd totally be willing to pay like 5x the price or even just a couple percentage higher for these difficult Pokemon. Technically, you could get more Master Balls by doing the whole Radio Tower thing, but that's complete RNG, and I'm not going to be doing that. Ooh. Dang it. It's teasing me. All this work and he doesn't even have Aeroblast. You will be our highest level Pokemon, though. That's gotta count for something, right? Woke up again. Been a while since he's managed to hit a move. I just have to, have to hope that when that happens that it's Gust and not Hydro Pump, because I have no idea how much Frozen can take in terms of a Hydro Pump from a level 60. The other thing about Lugia is the movie with Lugia is like my favorite Pokemon movie. I like it a lot better than the first one. Dang it. Come on, Lugia, I'm complimenting you so that you will get in the Pokeball faster. Yes! My silence was what Lugia wanted. It has an incredible ability to calm raging storms. It is said that Lugia appears when storms start. Hmm, those are contradictory, honestly. Does it cause the storms or does it make them go away? Which is it? I know they're saying probably that it appears to make the storms go away, but still. You know, there's a cause and effect there, right? But anyway, that's it for the Royal Islands for us. That was quite a journey this episode to get through all those things. I think next episode, well, things will be a bit simpler. I'll see you guys then. Bye!